Hi, I'm Dennis Kucinich. International relations can be complicated. They require an understanding of history, personal relations, economics, and regional tensions. They also require common sense. There is a truism which should guide a common sense approach to U.S. international relations. When you're in a hole, stop digging. When you're involved in a civil war on the verge of becoming a regional conflict characterized by sectarian violence and a rise in Al-Qaeda extremism, stop handing out guns. Consider this quote from a recent edition of the New York Times on the conflict in Syria. Quote, most of the arms shipped at the behest of Saudi Arabia and Qatar to supply Syrian rebel groups fighting the government of Bashar al-Assad are going to hardline Islamic jihadists and not the more secular opposition groups that the West wants to bolster, according to American officials and Middle Eastern diplomats." Unquote. It's been clear that al-Qaeda and jihadist groups benefit from the violent instability that has engulfed Syria. Last week, in a congressional hearing on security in Libya, we heard testimony which confirmed that al-Qaeda is more established as a result of our intervention in Libya. It's been clear for months that al-Qaeda-affiliated groups are now also operating in Syria. Again, from the New York Times, quote, that conclusion casts into doubt whether the White House's strategy is accomplishing its intended purpose or is instead sowing the seeds of future insurgencies hostile to the United States." Unquote. I warned about this in an August article entitled, Tilling the Grounds for Seeds of Terrorism. It should come as no surprise that extremist groups have hijacked desire for change in Syria. The New York Times said, quote, American officials worry that should Mr. Assad be ousted, Syria could erupt afterwards into a new conflict over control of the country, in which the more hardline Islamic groups would be the best armed." Unquote. Now until we know who we're supporting, until we know what comes after, until we know how to prevent the war from expanding, let's stop sending weapons into that country. Let's stop creating wars we can't win, wars we can't afford, and wars which visit more anti-American violence in the future.